Hello everyone, uh, it's Saf from Practical Car and Van Rental. I'm here today just to show you how to sim simply create a social media post and then we will move on to how to post it through a social media management platform like uh, Hootsuite or Zoho. So let's start off by creating a post. Uh, you can simply just add images. Let's say we want to take it one step further. Uh, we go to canva.com. It's a really easy website to use. You can use this for leaflets, uh, business cards, or anything that you want to create. We've got an account already. Uh, let me load up. My computer's a bit slow today. Um, up here, you can see we're already logged in. Uh, but if you haven't got an account, up here will be a sign in button. You can sign in, make a free account. Uh, most of the content will be available. Um, but with the premium account, you'll have just a little bit more. Okay, so if we just go on to here, Canva itself has a lot of content that you be able to use. So first thing to do is check on here. If we just make a car hire post, make it, keep it simple. Search for car hire on here. Load up some templates that they've already already got on the system. On the website, go down and look for something that relates to what we're trying to create. So let's, let's start with this. Yeah, click on that, customize the template. Now, because people use this to make posters and leaflets and all sorts of things, uh, the sizing of the actual um, post or template uh, will be different. So what we want to do before we start off, you can do this at the end as well, um, is go to resize and change it to an Instagram post. Okay. Copy and resize. Now, why I've used the Instagram square post is because uh, using this one, it, you can post, it fits on all the platforms would be it in Instagram itself, Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn. This size of post will fit across. And if you choose a different size, sometimes it'll fit through, it'll fit on Facebook, but it won't fit on Twitter. So just to keep it simple, keep it to the square post, you know that it's going to go across all platforms. You don't need to resize it again. Um, okay. So on here, look, you, as you can see, you can pretty much move anything. As you want you can take it away so let's say go on to the key we can delete it on we can uh, press the undo button and it'll come back so we'll leave that there for now uh, we can move the car we can uh, resize this let's say we'll make it bigger you can also highlight it manually okay but we'll, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep it like this get a car and it's big there isn't let's make it a bit smaller uh we've got the contact us here we've got a line here i don't know what that's doing so we'll just get rid of that contact us we'll leave that though we might use that we might use that okay put that there okay that's there uh in terms of changing the colors so again click on the white circle we want to change the color click on the color we can change it you can add add of paint, a cut of paint on and take off heat. Change your background color, start off with let's say um there you go. And on the left hand side here, uh, you've got tab, so you can elements, elements are anything that you want to add on. So like these circles would have been an element, um the hand element. Uh, you go down here, let's say we want to add a star. star. Uh, let's say we like the look of this one. We'll add it on. As you can see, it's gone in front of the car. It's not a problem. You can right click, layer, send it backward. So the backward will send it back one stage. You send it to the back in most cases, what that does behind the background, which is not something we want. So let's say we send it backward. It'll go behind the car where we want it to be. So let's leave that leave that here. Okay, uh, next and uh, up of 
upload a logo. We've, I've already uploaded them, so we've got it here. If I go to logos, you can see my logo is here. Now, if you would like this, you can email myself or Denny. We've got this uh, without the one background, so we don't want to see that. There. So we've got one without the background that I've uh, put together that you can use. Just email me or Jenny and we'll send it over to you for you to upload onto your Canva account. There. That looks nice enough there. Contact us, we can change that telephone number. So I'm going to put my one in as 685. There. And that's pretty much done. Okay. Um, what you can also do on Canva is add animation and animations. Click on the car, for example, here. We'll go to animate and we can make it up, make it, and we can make it pop. So let's say pop. So if we have that, you, it's important that we add it, save it as a GIF at the end, not just as a PNG. If you can use these animated posts on most of the social media platforms to make it easier you can also just click the whole page to go to animate it will animate the whole thing for you on which one you um so let's say we choose party that's animated whole thing okay that's it and that's done our social media posts is the first one done we can change this car rental post and this is what the file will save as go to file download and then here you can use obviously an mp4 because it's got the animation you can, best thing to do is save it as a gif again and it will go across most of the platforms press download and that will download into your download okay what you can also do it's always good to do is also save it as a png file which is like a normal image that the animation, go to PNG, download that, and it will be on it. Okay, as you can see, the PNG is already saved. Uh, it's because the file size is obviously a lot. <coughs> you can hover over it here, and you can see that that's the PNG file. The GIF is still saving. Okay, let's say it's done. So it should appear here, hopefully. Yes. Okay, so if you hover over it, you, it says GIF file. That's the one with the animations. This is the one without the animation. What you can also do, close this, close it. It does save all your projects on automatically. And they will be there. Okay. So let's say you've taken a picture of one of your cars and you want to add a background to it. I, for this video, I asked Practical and Hot, it's going to send me an image of one of their cars. So if we just say we've got an image, we search their template, templates that have an image on, press enter. We can see that these are all the templates that are available. Okay. Who's one that we want to use? Let's do. Let's try and find something that we. So let's um, let's go with this one. So again, it's not related to car at all because Mac we're using as a template. Customize this template. Okay, we can see that it's already uh, the right size, 80, 80. So we won't need to resize this. Go up. We can see it's already in Instagram. So I need to mess around with that. The one with the crown on, uh, you can only use if you've got a premium account. So the one that I'm using now, I can use this account. Click on the image, press delete, take the image out, 
and we go and find the image that we want to put on. So if we go to my pictures, um, it is nice photos here. Yeah. So we right click, and then we need to open the image and copy onto here. You can right click and then paste. <clears throat> Sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to press the Control V. So you just press hold Control, press V, and it will load on. Now, if you hold the image and you hover it over where it needs to go, it practically put. You don't have to, but you can just add add the image on the post. Uh, we can take ours out. Uh, take this flowers out. Over, change that or higher. Perfect. Yeah, we can make it a bit bigger. So we can make it a bit bigger. Move the car higher. With the font, you can like and change it up here. Highlight it and change it. One, two. Color of the font. Want down here. Okay, that's done. Uh, what we're going to do is add a text. Here okay, we can add a text. So let's say we want to add the website. Heading W. We can go down and add the logo. The logo is there. Go down and add it on there. Thing. So again, we can move that up. We can also round with this. So let's put it at an angle. That. Put the car higher. Click on the car higher and then move it. Again, we can to match and the website well, there you go there you go, go. and that's done so now again we go to file we've not added any animation to this one Not added any animation, so we can just save it as a PNG file. To get PNG and then download, and that will download. Okay, and then here, to our downloads, you can see that the. Okay. Now we're moving on to posting it through a social media management platform. A good one to use and one that we use at the office is Boho. Uh, it's just easy to use. It gives you a free um, file as you sign up. And it lets you post across uh, these. So if you go to zoho.com forward slash virtual. Made uh, one of, I just made a fresh account with, on trial uh, just for this video. So that's there. Again, you sign in, sign into Google, make your account. I'll just show you the price plan. So the first 15 days are free. After the 15 days, uh, you can pay the eight pound a month. It will automatically put you on the premium. So you want to just go to the standard, really, as to what you need. You know, cover on, put posts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Google main ones that you want to use you don't necessarily need a premium oh so we go back to where we were to is logging into uh -huh. there you go if you just click on access so on social media so as soon as you sign as soon as you make an account it will ask you to link book your, uh, your instagram like this so you will need your Facebook password, you'll need access to your page, RAM and your Google. As per my last video on Google, if you haven't got access to your page, you can call me and I'll give you access to your page so you can link it in here. So I'm going to connect Facebook uh, for this video. 
in track. Then you there you go, and then we click the page that we want to save. That's that one. We want to add that one. Add on. And that's it, it's connected. So we can also connect all the other ones here. That's fine, we're not going to do that in this video. Okay, now we've got the main dashboard here. We go to posts. Easiest way to schedule posts is to go to the calendar. And then we can choose a date. Okay. We want it to go out 7th at, and then it opens the screen. We want it to go out at 9 30 in the morning. There, you can always change the date. So, if you need to amend one, you can just. Yeah, we're going to put a uh, great. Um, we can put hashtags on for hashtag. Our hashtag work if anyone searches for this specific word then our post eventually should come up regardless of them following us. So let's say someone's searching Protestant, our post should come up. Someone's searching car hire, up, up, come up, and so on. Uh, we can on oh. We go down to the bottom, we can see here, add an attachment. So we're going to go to our downloads already open. Here we go. Post that we created earlier. Click on that. There you go. It's loaded. So once you've linked your other social media accounts, they will all appear here. You can choose which one by just clicking on it. Go through. Because we've only I've only linked in Facebook, it's only showing the Facebook there. So we've scheduled it there. And that's there. It's ready to go. You can always move it across. You can always uh, click on it by amending it. You have more than one post going out on each day. Um, pretty much it, we're all done. That takes us to the end of the video. If you do have any questions, you need help on this, uh, give me a call or drop me an email and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for listening and watching. Take care, bye-bye.